Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about subtraction of fractions. So by the way, I already have a separate videos about addition of fractions, parts 1 and 2. So if you haven't watched them yet, I will just put the link of the videos on the description so you can check them first as well because all the concepts that we've discussed there are gonna be used in this topic, subtraction of fractions. Okay? So in subtraction of fractions, just like in addition of fractions, we're going to be dealing with two cases. So the first case is that when we are subtracting similar fractions, and the second case is that when we are subtracting dissimilar fractions. So let's start with the first case, that is when we are subtracting similar fractions. So when we are subtracting similar fractions, the same concepts applies when we are adding similar fractions. So that is, we will just simply subtract the numerators and copy the same denominators. So for example, let's say we will subtract 13 over 14 minus 5 over 14. So we will simply subtract the numerator, so 13 minus 15 over the same denominator which is 14. So for the numerator, we have 13 minus 5 is 8 and then over the same denominator of 14. But since 8 over 14 is not yet in lowest terms, we can divide both numerator and denominator by their GCF, which is obviously 2. So we have for the numerator, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Over the denominator will be 14 divided by 2 is 7. So therefore, the final answer will be 4 over 7. Okay? Next, what if we have 19 over 21? minus 4 over 21 minus 2 over 21 so applying the same concept we simply subtract the numerator so we have 19 minus 4 minus 2 over the same denominators of 21 so subtracting the numerators we have 19 minus 4 minus 2 is 13 over the same denominator which is 21 so therefore the final answer is 13 over 21 Okay, next let's consider the next case that is when we are subtracting the similar fractions. So just like in addition of the similar fractions, we will apply the same concept that is we will transform first the given the similar fractions into equivalent fractions and we can do that by finding the LCD or the LCM of the denominators and using that as the new denominators for the equivalent fractions. So to illustrate that, let's try to solve 8 over 9 minus 5 over 6. So as we can see, the fractions are dissimilar because they have different denominators of 9 and 6. So we need to find the LCM of 9 and 6 first. So if you try to list the multiples of 6 and 9, for 6 we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. For 9, we have the multiples of 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on. So, from the list that we have, we can see that the least common multiple of 6 and 9 is obviously 18. So, therefore, we will transform these two fractions into equivalent form having a denominator of 18. So, let's start with 8 over 9. So, the new denominator will be 18. Then divide the LCD 18 by the denominator of 8, 9, which is 9. So, we have 18 divided by 9 is 2. Then multiply the quotient by the numerator 8. We have 2 times 8 is 16. Okay? Minus, doing the same with 5, 6. Let's have the new denominator of 5, 6 as the LCD 18. So, divide 18 by 6. We have 3 times the numerator 5. We have 5 times 3 is 15. So as we can see, we now have similar fractions with the same denominators of 18. So we can just apply the subtraction for similar fractions. That is, we simply subtract the numerator, so 16 minus 15, over the same denominator, which is 18. So 16 minus 15 is 1 over 18. So therefore, the final answer is 1 over 18. Okay. Next, let's try to subtract 17 over 18 minus 3 over 4 minus 1 over 12 so again since we have the similar fractions we need to find the lcd or the lcm of the denominators 18 4 and 12 so if you try to list the multiples of 18 4 and 12 
So for 18, we have 18, 36, 54, 72, and so on. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and so on. For 12, we have the multiples of 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. So, looking at the list, we see that the least common multiple of 18, 4, and 12 is obviously 36. Okay? So, we need to transform the three fractions into equivalent form having denominator of 36. So, let's start with 17 over 18. So, we write the new denominator of 36. Divide 36 by denominator 18, we have 2. Then multiply the quotient by the numerator 17. So 2 times 17 is 34. Minus, doing the same with 3 fourths, write the new denominator of 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9, times 3 is 27. Minus, lastly for 1 over 12, copy the new denominator of 36. 36 divided by 12 is 3, times 1 is 3. Now we have similar fractions, so we can just subtract the numerators 34 minus 27 minus 3 over the same denominator of 36. So subtracting the numerator, we have 34 minus 27 minus 3 is 4 over the denominator of 36. So since 4 over 36 is not yet in lowest term, we can still divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 4 and 36, which is 4. So doing that, we have 4 divided by 4 is 1, over 36 divided by 4 is 9. So therefore, the final answer is 1 over 9. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Subtraction of Fractions Part 1. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.